I have faith to assess the help of God. You must come to that point wherein you have to know that there is help. I might not know it, I might not know how, but it's not an end game. Whatsoever I'm going through now is not an end game. I will assess help. The letter profit nothing but the spirit give life. So when we preach the word of God and teach the word of God, we are releasing spirit virtue. It's for you to receive the help that God has in stock for you because it's through those preaching the help are disseminated. And like you were taught, if you design it, that my help is in this spirit virtue being released through the word of God, it will turn things around for you. I can feel bad by my own hand in shame. I can feel pain by my own hand in shame. I, there might be one looks like delay, but it won't end in shame. Because the Bible said the pattern is this. If you will believe the Lord Jesus and that God raised him from the dead, the meaning of that is that if you will believe, because resurrection shows it ends in victory. The game is still on. Yes, sir. And there's only one way it will end. It said you will not be put to shame. That's the only way it will end. When you start praying, it might still look far. Keep praying. When you start believing, it might still look far. Keep believing. Faith is drawing it near. You know, one of us here, they, they had a, the, the wife conceived, and the baby had no stomach. And the doctor said, let's terminate. He said, don't terminate it. Give us time. So every 12 midnight, they will wake up and talk in tongue. Then one day they went, and the doctor made some face. And the wife said, I thought maybe the baby is even dead. He said, something is changed here. There is stomach. Life and direct. No matter the dimension of help I'm looking for, and Satan and my feelings and environment and every other person is telling me is still so far. My faith draws it near. Faith draws the help of God near. God is saying you won't be put to shame. The word of victory is near you. It's in your heart. It's in your home. It's near you.